In this video, we're going to learn how to use game sharing between two DLive consoles. Game sharing is the ability for one DLive console to remotely control the gain of a preamp on another DLive over a GigaRace connection. Whereas in a traditional digital split system, one console has control of the gain, whilst another only has local digital trim, two DLives can both have control of each other's preamps at the same time. You can share the gain of any preamp on the mix rack or an expander connected to the DX ports on the mix rack. To gain share between two D-Lives, we'll need two mix racks, two GigaRace or FibreRace cards, and some network cables to connect them together. Let's look at our source console, the one with the physical analog inputs. We're going to use tie lines to source our audio from the local sockets and send to the I.O. card. We'll now move to our other D-Live. To source our inputs, we're going to go to the I.O. page, followed by inputs, followed by the I.O. card slot with our GigaRace or FibreRace card fitted. We'll now need to ensure our two D-Lives are clocked correctly. One D-Live will be the clock leader, whilst the other will follow. On your clock leading D-Live, ensure the audio sync source is set to either internal or a valid external clock. On your clock following D-Live, ensure the I.O. card connected to your clock leading D-Live is selected. We can now have a look at the gain sharing settings. Touching mix rack, audio, I.O. port and the I.O. port slot fitted with either the Giga or FibreRace card, gain sharing must be enabled on both consoles. This is also where we can choose to save the remote preamps from being recalled by scenes on the local console. We'd recommend that you do safe remote preamps for most use cases. This will mean that only the surface local to the preamps will be able to change the value of those preamps using seeds. Enabling gain sharing on one console will automatically enable it on the other, but you will be presented with a warning message. Be aware that with gain sharing enabled, the network bridge will no longer function regardless of the switch position you are still able to connect the two systems together by their network ports if you wish. You can disable gain sharing from either console at any time, at which point the network bridge will be restored. You will now be able to control the preamp of the remote DLive. If you wish, you can use gain tracking mode. This will compensate for changes to the preamp value with digital trim. This means if the other engineer decides to add 3 dB to the gain, your console will compensate by reducing digital trim by 3 dB, keeping your channel gain constant until you decide to change it.